Jonathan Lee Riches Investigates. I am in Tarpon Springs, Florida. The home behind me belongs to Thomas Kozowski. Thomas Kozowski is the plastic surgeon doctor who was charged with murdering a lawyer in Pinellas County, Florida named Stephen Kazi. Stephen Kazi, a lawyer from Largo, Florida, who is still missing but this plastic surgeon that lives in this home right here, Tarpon Springs, Florida, is charged with Kazi's murder despite authorities not finding Kazi. But this is his backyard here. He lives on waterfront property in Tarpon Springs. I am on the next property over in a public park. This is Fred Howard Park. But I wanna give you guys a view of his home because in back of his home is just a, a, a it's brush and land, and then it's the coast. It's the coast. So I'm going to give you a idea of, you know, this guy's backyard. And uh, did authorities search all this area for Kazi? I don't know. I don't know. Is Stephen Kazi around here somewhere? Possibly. Possibly. Um, since I've been following this case, authorities said that Ka uh, Kozowski went down to the uh, on the 21st of March 2023 went down to the law offices where Kazi worked on Belchard it's called Blanchard Law and went in, in and ambushed uh, Stephen in the bathroom and then there was at the time at the, around that time there was supposed to be a court hearing where both Kozowski who was representing himself and Kazi who was representing defendants because Kozowski suing some sort of medical field and Kazi defending the defendants in the lawsuit and they were supposed to have a hearing there or have a hearing via zoom and Kozowski showed but Kazi didn't and authorities are claiming that Kozowski had Kazi or did something to Kazi down there at that law firm in the bathroom and then took him out and put him in a Toyota Tundra and then maybe he went back here changed vehicles because Kozowski eventually went down to the Miami area in, a, in another vehicle. But where is Stephen Kazi? Where is Stephen Kazi? I'm going to flip the camera around and we're just going to take a walk in this area and I'm just going to show you what this area looks like. Check it out. So that is... Kozowski's home. It looks like he put hurricane shutters up down the windows. I don't think anyone is there right now, but this is his backyard. This is the backyard. And then you see that gazebo there. That is a gazebo that goes out to the Gulf of Mexico. And all this area, you know, has authorities searched this area. Next to the property here, the fence line on this side is a public park. This is called Fred Howard Park. I'm going to take you on a walk over here. So you can see the area and see just how close it is to the water. The Gulf of Mexico is right here beyond this tree line. And I have a lot of questions about Stephen Kazi. Did, and I'm gonna show you over here, the coastline. It's, the sun is starting to go down here in the evening time. Here it is, the Gulf of Mexico. And Kalzowski's property is right around that bend right there. Around that corner there is a dock. Does he have a boat? Did he put Kazi out there in the water somewhere? In the Gulf?
or put him in the backyard somewhere. Did authorities search the backyard, dig up the backyard, see if any evidence where there could be a body in the backyard remains to be seen. Kazi's house or Kazowski's house is right there. That's his house. You see the shoreline. We'll go over here. Is the body of Stephen Kazi somewhere buried? Or in this, these hedges on the property. This is the property right here of Kalzowski. The fence ends here. Don't know. I'm going to go in a little bit. But there's the gazebo with the dock right there. And then there's water, but I don't see a boat that Kalzowski owned. But did he search to make my way to the coastline? Let's see if I can make my way there. I'm going through. And it's all marsh back here, you see? It looks like there is a trail here. trail I don't know eventually goes to the water this way now I could be on Kalzowski's property matter of fact I'm not if you look on the map next to, immediately next to Kalzowski's property there is a vacant lot here so I believe that that's not his property line there's property line probably a little bit over there but this is another like easement type area but where is Stephen Kazi very swampy back here see these hedges Gotta look out for snakes. And that's his house there. But where is Stephen Kazi? I take you down to the water from here. I don't know, it kind of looks like authorities maybe went through here looking. Maybe. Maybe not. Is there a body back here? Don't know. It's a ball right there. Have any evidence of foul play back here? Go down to the water so I can show you the water. Like a maze. Eventually the water hits here. There's the water here. This is his next to his backyard. And then there's the water. I don't 
don't know. I don't see a body looking. So it's tough, man. Did Kazaski dispose of Tazi somewhere back here in the swampy area? Where is Stephen Kazi? search for Stephen Kazi continues. I believe that the Miami police have a bolo out. Be on the lookout for information about Kazaski's whereabouts. A few days after the crime happened. I believe the crime happened on March 21st. Like right there's Kazaski's house. Right there is just a mount, you know, mass amount of land. Where could Stephen Kazi be? Connected next door, Howard Park. This is a giant park. There's people over there watching the sunset. Baseball field over here. you have any information about the whereabouts of Stephen Kazi or know some information, contact the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office. Do you know? I'm out here covering this case, praying for Stephen Kazi's family. Hopefully they get some answers. Why did Kazaski do this? Was it over a legal issue? Was it something else? Police haven't revealed the motive at this time. The affidavit of probable cause has a lot of juicy evidence against Kalzowski. He lives right there, the last home, right beyond there he lives. So we'll talk soon. God bless, praying for Stephen's family. Hopefully they get some answers. Jonathan Lee Riches investigates. God bless.